you heard Mike say that breaking news from Cicero tonight started with a very tense situation developing after looting in a strip mall and at least two people have been shot to death. Some residents brandishing baseball bats and guns patrolling their streets. They say they will defend their lives and their property. NBC 5's Phil Rogers on the ground for us live in Cicero tonight with more. Phil. Allison, as Mike said, there is a massive show of force here tonight after a day of chaos. Take a look at this video that was shot earlier today. This afternoon, there was a tense standoff between looters and police near the intersection of Cermak and Cicero Avenue. Investigators say two people were shot near 50th and Cermak. All told, at least two people are dead and at least 60 arrests have been made here since the looting began at about 4 o'clock. They're not welcomed into breaking into people's businesses and taking whatever is inside the stores. That's not how you try to protest something that happened in Minnesota. Here at the dollar store on Cermak, staffers are on the roof with guns, promising to do anything they need to do to protect their business. Elsewhere tonight, we saw scores of Cicero citizens on the street wielding baseball bats, even golf clubs, vowing to defend their community. It's not we trying to do the police's job, but we just trying to protect what's ours and stuff, you know? So what we're doing right here is we're coming together, man. Everybody coming together. No matter what color you are, man. If you don't want your storefront broken, man, stick with us, bro. Let's, let's stick together, bro. That's what we need to do. Now, it goes without saying that police are not enamored with the idea of citizens taking the law into their own hands. They say they appreciate those efforts, but there is no curfew tonight in Cicero, and they are asking everyone to stay in their homes Things here are just too tense right now. They say leave the policing to the police. Live in Cicero, Phil Rogers, NBC5. All right, be safe out there, Phil.